In fact, that's why I want to jump off into this issue with Bill Maher, because folks are anxious, and a lot of frontline workers who see the hypocrisy, they see the duplicity, and what we've really got right now is a caste system. We have staff who have to wear masks, and customers, they can do whatever they want. And even uh, everyone at home, think about this. You walk into the restaurant, you have to put a mask on. You sit down, now they tell you you can take your mask off. Really? Where's the science there? This is what undermines our confidence in what Vivian Fauci has been saying all along. The flip-flopping is not just a, a little bit of a problem in, in translation. It is undermining our ability to trust what we're hearing. And you're being gaslit at home. People are telling right. you things like you'll have to wear masks forever, which is what they're actually thinking. And it's complete, utter nonsense. You told me, I don't know, maybe about a month ago or so, that Regeneron and Eli Lilly, which had done a phenomenal job with Delta monoclonal antibodies, you told me that no, they're not working as well on Omicron as GSK Sotrovimab. I think I said it right. And... <laughs> and it turned out to be true. Now they're, they're, they're actually saying it. Now these other companies that have done a phenomenal work, I'm sure they're going to adjust their monoclonal antibody formula and probably adapt to new variants. If breakthrough cases, in other words, if you're vaccinated, you have a booster of natural immunity and it's, you're still getting COVID, that, this is no longer a disease of the unvaccinated. Why is Fauci talking about, you know, fourth and fifth booster shots? He's got to defend what he's been saying, and he's too arrogant to pull back from the precipice. And everyone now sees what's happening. You point out the good example, which is the virus shifted. The monoclonal antibodies have to shift. We completely ignored the possibility of therapeutics, although you and I talked about this literally the first week that we knew about the pandemic, and we got slammed for it. But it turns out, in retrospect, it was probably the best path. Now, no one knew it at the time, but the arrogance of ignoring the possibility of what doctors have always known, which is treat the patients in front of you. It's not a one-size-fits-all plan. Of course, try to prevent illness, but have a strategy, a backup plan. Fauci's never taking care of patients. He's a virologist. He works in test tubes. And so there's no uh, approach to patient care, the ministering of people who are ill that's required. And that's why you need leadership. And it's not been there. I got to say, one thing I've noticed in Pennsylvania is when you get in front of folks and say, Washington got it wrong. COVID's a good example, but the authoritarian overreach, the power grab that you spoke of, is continuing in other areas. People resonate to that. I mean, part of the reason they're coming out in droves is because they want to get confident to get, and they know it's out there. They have someone who's got a bold voice to go to Washington and say, enough. We, we've got to stop thinking about how liberals evaluate the world. It's not all about victims. Let me ask it's not you one caring last. about caring. It's caring about fixing. So you, you've had 4,000 heart operations. You've been 15 years on TV, in, you know, doing your show, which is highly successful in what is a very difficult genre, daytime talk. And you're leaving all of that behind with the millions of dollars that go with it to run for, and get in a blood sport known as politics. Why? Um, I, 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 I think that's really... That's a huge sacrifice for a lot of people that do it. I admire people that do, but I'm just curious. It's one of the most fulfilling experiences of my life. It's very cathartic to leave everything behind. In fact, I told my team, we are burning the boats. We're not going back. Let the show go on. That's other people's hands. Cancel the magazine. We're going to be here for the citizens of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and we'll be in the Senate next year protecting them.